16 Tons is a country classic and has a classic guitar riff at the heart of it as well. Written by Merle Travis, recorded by lots of people, including Johnny Cash. Of course, the big hit version from Tennessee Ernie Ford. I'm going to show you how to strum your way through the tune. I'm going to show you how to play it with your bare fingers, if you so choose. Also, there's a nice little riff that works well as an intro. It also helps wrap up the chorus every time it comes around. Check this out. Let's talk about the intro riff, which recurs throughout the tune. Leads nicely into an E minor, whether it's uh, the end of the song or the uh, intro leading into the first, you know, chord strumming. So the downs and ups are going to be important. Uh, nothing too hard about this, but definitely follow along with the downs and ups because that'll create a nice flowing pattern. You're going to actually start with an upstroke. A one, two, three. Up, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. And then down, up, down, down. And if you are heading right back into the uh, a, a verse or starting the tune on the very first verse, that last downstroke sets you up nicely for the for that, okay? The exact fingering, there's some flexibility there. The one thing that's non-negotiable, when you play the first fret on any string ever, use your pointer finger. There may be an exception to that somewhere. I'm sure somewhere there is if I put my mind to it. But everything else is some, uh, it's negotiable. But first fret on any string, definitely use your first finger, your index finger. Okay, so there's that riff. Nice way to kick off the tune. It shows up uh, at the end of each course. Now let's talk about the, um, the chords and the strumming pattern. Here it comes. So the chords you'll need are easy chords, E minor of course, the song's in the key of E minor. You'll need C major, B7, probably the trickiest chord of the bunch, and A minor. Pretty straightforward. Okay, now for your picking hand, we have a boom chick pattern. palm muting after every chick, after every strum. So grab your E minor. The, the fingering of these chords doesn't really matter. E minor, you can use any combination. Uh, C, of course, A minor, B7. There's really only one uh, conventional way to finger those chords. The E minor, I think I'm going to leave that up to you, which two fingers you use. Okay, so fourth string, second fret, of course, and then a nice light strum on the three treble strings. Catch it with the edge of your palm open fourth string. I'm still basically in the world of E minor. Now C, fifth string, B7. So yeah, that nice descending bass line. Okay, that's at the heart of the tune. Now let's put it together with the lyrics. Here it comes. Just want to take a minute and say thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, while you're at my YouTube channel, please check out my playlist called 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. We've been going since January 1st. Maybe you've been here with me this whole time, huh? It's a lot of videos, over 300 at this point. Uh, so please check out that playlist. You've missed some good ones. If you've missed a few, you've missed some good ones. And also check out my website called Songbike. Now, let's get into the tune. Uh, if I were performing this too, I might start off with that intro. And then get right into the strumming. So now, uh, with the words, uh, we're going to start off with, um, uh, now some people say a man's made out of mud. A two, three. Some people say a man's made out of mud. A poor Cause I could go I'm not so too 
those, I got right back into the... Now, you don't have to start singing right away. There's four verses, right? So you're going to come to this point four times in the song. You don't have to start to sing right away. You could just vamp, you know, get yourself ready. And then when you're good and ready, then you can decide when to begin the next verse. Or you could vamp on that, that nice walk down. You know? Now, before we wrap up, I mentioned you could play this without a pick. So, you can do it with your thumb. And then three fingers plucked on the three treble strings. And I'm doing the dampening now, but instead of, instead of dampening with the edge of my hand, I just put my fingers back on there. So my fingertips go back to where they just plucked. So my thumb is on the fourth string, and fourth string, and then fifth string, and then fifth string. My fingertips are remaining ring, middle, index on the first, second, third strings the whole time. That's all. And even on the E minor, uh, E minor, A minor part. My thumb just went six, and five, and A minor went five to four. That's all. And then, you know, less dramatic. On the E minor, hold oh, my soul to the company store, and even the uh, that riff. I would use my my thumb and uh, index, basically alternating, not necessarily alternating, but you know, using both of them. That's how I pluck out that riff, and then get right back into the. You know, so there's how you can play it with your bare fingers. Now, uh, just so you know, before I wrap up, this orientation of your picking hand, where the thumb is essentially responsible for six, five, and four, and these fingers are staying planted on the three treble strings, this is actually a great foundation for finger picking. So if you've never done any finger picking before, guess what? This is a, a, a great uh, foundation here, because tons of songs uh, require you to be in this exact orientation. Thumb, 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 index, middle, ring. That's it. All right, everybody. So, 16 tons. Thank you, Merle Travis. Everybody, that does it for today. I will see you for another song tomorrow.